Breaking overnight, gunfire just outside of Temple University Hospital puts three people in the ER. And right now, police are trying to determine what led up to that shooting. CBS News Philadelphia's Ross D. Mate joining us live outside of the hospital, which was also hit by some of that gunfire. Ross, good morning. Good morning, Janelle and Jim. That is exactly right. Let me just step right out of the way so you can see what this scene looks like. As we zoom in, you can see broken glass and bullet holes in what is the uh, parking structure right here connected to the emergency room of Temple University Hospital. Now, fortunately for these three victims who were shot, they were only hit a few feet from the entrance to the ER, and police say they were actually able to walk right inside on their own power to get treatment. Let's uh, take you back a little bit. And the shooting happened shortly before 12:30 this morning. And when officers got here to the scene, they found three victims. One of them, an 18-year-old young man who had been shot in the hand, also a 22-year-old man who was shot in the knee, and a 25-year-old man who had been shot in the face, back, and arm. Now, according to police, all three were able to walk into the ER on their own, and they're now in stable condition. Police found more than 40 spent shell casings outside where this shooting happened. Police say it's somewhat strange to see a shooting like this so close here to Temple Hospital, partly because it's a very busy area for vehicles at all hours of the day. There's rescue squads, another ambulance, and police activity normally at this emergency room. Um, so it's very unusual for someone to fire over 40 shots right outside of Temple Hospital. Now, according to Temple Police, those shots were fired from a dark-colored four-door sedan heading south on Germantown Avenue. They believe three individuals were shooting from inside of that car, and they think that one of them may have exited that vehicle in order to fire even more shots. Now, at this hour, we're still trying to figure out what exactly led up to this shooting. Right now, police don't have a, mo uh, a motive uh, behind this shooting. They did point out, though, that there are several surveillance cameras attached to Temple Hospital. They also have real-time crime cameras, so they're hoping that at least one of those cameras picked up on some footage of this shooting. But at this hour, they're still searching for those three shooters.